All right. Uh, well, <laughs> Kugelian's gonna go first with their speed droid strategy. Uh, we're gonna special out Gizmek for no reason. Just, you know, don't worry about it. All right, let's go through our speedy speed droid speedster combo. We get a terror top out the hand here. We're gonna go double yo-yo. Normal summon the double yo-yo. Bring back the terror top we pitch with the win for the double yo-yo search. And this is gonna be the level manipulation plus the cork shooter. Doing a bunch of uh, synchro climbing plays so that eventually we can end on a crystal wing synchro dragon plus Baron, I guess is what we're doing here. Oh, we have a lot of bodies to play with, I suppose. There's a decent amount of stuff we can make. We're gonna go clear wing synchro, crystal wing dragon, and Baron the floor. All right. How will we play through this? How? Normal summon Grand Vach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> how do, how ow? I just grand machu normal stuff. <laughs> Activate Necro Valley. Set to and pass. Can we even beat this? There's no way, right? Rubber band shooter reveals for cost. Oh my god, mistake. It adds. <laughs> No, <laughs> we can't out this. <laughs> Crystal Wing only gains attack against level 5 or higher monster. Grand Maja is the same level as a freaking Burning Abyss monster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what does Wind do? Oh, it specials itself when a monster you control is destroyed. Okay. Uh, draw for turn. We got a Denkai Duke. Normal summon. Uh, synchro into Kite Drake. Kite Drake effect. Uh, destroy all other cards on the field. No. <laughs> no. Pass. <laughs> Draw for turn. Another Grand Maju? Oh, another strike. Okay. Battle phase. Grand Maju punch. Grand Maju strong. How did you even get banished cards, by the way? What did you ban? Was it extravagant? Oh, it was a Roshi. Wait, that's it? This guy's as big as he is just because of nothing but an Roshi? Oh, Lord. All right, battle phase. Oh, this is big. Imperm comes down. Chains crack down. <gasps> oh, my God. Dodge. Wow. That's... Oh, my God. <laughs> Ghost and match destroy. You get to destroy the monster. I'm just, I'm blown away. I'm bl actually the smartest Grand Maju player. The sm most intelligent Grand Maju player. Okay, we have a droplet, so we need to try and do that again. We need to draw a monster and then attack it. Uh, wait, we actually could have done that last turn, right? Flip summon Maxi, attack the Grand Maju, droplet damage step. Oh my, now, now we're just drawing monsters. This is rough. Wow, I've never seen a stun combo deck, but here we are. <laughs> you have done nothing but attack with Grand Maju all game. Oh, uh, what is this? Okay, okay, do the, do the play, do the thing. Don't use the effect. Okay, you could have played into strike there, but that's fine. We're gonna go, there can be only one. All right. Okay, so now you just go battle phase. Okay, I don't know why we're doing it immediately. All right. Oh, that's not how droplet works. Oh, it doesn't negate the effect. It puts it, it sets it to half the attack. So it doesn't go down to zero. Yeah, that's, that's actually the ruling. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, part of extra. That's a that, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. <laughs> oh, there was one deck Speedroids probably expected to lose to was like Branded, Dragon Link, Tier Lament. What did you lose to? I lost to a normal summon Grand Maju and nothing else. <laughs> and we're going first. Ash Blossom. We're gonna cross out Ash Blossom. Oh, you fool. Oh, Chain Maxi. But maybe we want our opponent to draw cards with this deck, huh? Huh? All right, let's see. We're gonna go Zayaman for Foxy Chun. Foxy Chun effect discarding who? Discards the Telephone for Dear Note into Magic Ruler. And our opponent's gonna draw a card every time we special summon. Dear Note is going to bring back a uh, Foxy Chun here, and it looks like Druiz Worm is coming down here to negate this. Or rather, banish it. 
So no level 8 summon here. We're going to excavate 5. We're going to hit a bunch of tier limits. And Necro World Banshee. Okay. Does not add anything to the hand here. Just chooses to fuse both of them. <laughs> Beastial. Banish one of them. Banish the Shirin. Does the Havness resolve? Does it still have a summon? It does indeed. We still have another name. We're now we're going to go into Kit Kalos. Kit Kalos effect. Chaining Banshee. Banshee is going to put a Necro, a, a Zombie World on the field. Our opponent has drawn Ash Blossom, but it's already been used this turn. I'm going to add Merly. And we're going to do the Mill 8 strat here. Mill 8. Dumping stuff. It's a Merly. Merly goes into a Uh That's going to overlay into the Zombie Vampire. It is level 8. And Zombie Vampire are going to mill 4 cards here, bringing back Yuna Zombie. Magic Dragon is going to banish a Light in the Dark to bring itself back. Yuna Zombie is going to dump Mizuki. Mizuki is now going to bring back Baldrake. Now we're doing a Link Summon into Dark the Dark Charmer. And we're going to summon our own Magnemut by banishing the opponent's Rocket Synchron. Looks like our opponents ran out of hand traps, it seems. Into the Pilgrim Reaper. Pilgrim Reaper, detach. To mill five more. Mills a Kelbeck. Mills five more. Here's a Guido. Mills five more. Special summon into Levier. The opponent has four cards remaining in the deck. Levier, bring back Mizuki. Link that away into the Vampire Sucker. Vampire Sucker, special card to our opponent's field here. One card left in deck. And Dark the Target Charmer summons Baldrake. Oh, we're going to Magnemut banish our own Baldrake. Yes. One more special summon. Surely they don't have it with eight cards left in the extra deck. And now we're going to link up into Apollosa. And our opponent has run out of cards. <laughs> deck out challenge through Ash, three Beasteals, and there was one more there as well. But my god, in incredible. Would you look at that? Maxi, baby. Uh, what are you playing, little bro? What is this? What are, what are you playing? This is extremely suspicious. Why is there an XE change tactics and Utopia cards in your hand? How did we how 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 did we decide on this? I gotta know. How did we not have game? How did we not have game? Alright, well, let's see if it matters. Let's start with Thunderbolt. I'm going to immediately tribute off our elf here. That feels bad, but what can you do? Main phase priority for the turn player into Raigeki means, uh, you know, can't do much. Negate and destroy the Raigeki. And time for Xe change tactics. Special summon Ascended Sage. Special summon the other Ascended guy into Num Utopia. But just good old Utopia. We're Ash Blossing the draw of XC change tactics. I, I'm not an expert. I feel like Ashing a random draw might not be the right play here. Uh, we're going to go into Numeron, Numeromia, Numer, Numertopia rank up here. Uh, adding Ascended Sage. This Sunny Snitch is, is dangerously close, by the way. We're, we're getting very low here. 400 life points. Dragonar in the battle phase summons out Utopia Ray. 200 life points. That's our last summon of the duel. Utopia Ray gets to detach here to equip the horse, which does get to negate. And we got one material on the Dragon Arse. We can't summon again. We wouldn't want to anyway, as we would be hit with 200. It's a kill plus elf here, activating, forming a chain here. Utopia Ray negating the elf. Really strong. All right. And then kiss a kill. Oh, okay. The horse negates that, and the Utopia raid negates the elf. Are right, we gonna chain smash her here? Number protection. It's in the name. Protect. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna try and overlay into gigantic sprite. Gigantic sprite. Gonna special summon out blue. Getting carrot. How do we win this? Gamma burst. Utopia Dragonar, it. This is a secret effect. What is this guy?
I do? Declares an attack, change the attack to zero? <laughs> Who knew that? <laughs> okay, how are we winning this without monster effects? Um, without summons, sorry. Uh, Utopia, are we going to negate the uh, kiss and kill again? Uh, are we just going to hit our opponent really hard? No! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How did you win this game? <laughs> oh, Yaxi with the uh, Gem Knights. Going to Imperm a Scrap Raptor. And then Hard draws Fusion Destiny, by the way. I'm pretty sure this card is uh, a one of for the Verte. Still playing Verte, by the way. Shout out to that boy. All right, here we go. We're going to go Unexpected Die into Gem Knight Lapis. Pops the Lapis with the DPE. I mean, listen, I don't know if that's correct or not. He probably doesn't know. We don't know. No one knows. Does anyone know what Gem Knight does? We'll never find out. We're going second, though. We're activating the new card, Quartz, which lets you get Scatter Fusion. We go into Seraphonite. Uh, what is Black Garden for? Okay, Lazuli, add back Lapis. Gives our opponent some Rose Tokens now. Extra Normal Summon of Lapis. More, more tokens. Oh, that's two normal summons. Okay. Yeah, we did start with die technically. Into Quartz. And Quartz is going to add a card. So, Gem Knight Fusion. Gem Knight Fusion. Okay. And then Black Garden for the final token that our opponent gets. Uh, returning here for Lady Brilliant Diamond. Black Garden. Still, is it mandatory? Is that why it keeps annoyingly triggering here? Well, I guess it's the uh, reduction. It doesn't just summon. 50 attack point out of Manspeeder Researcher. Look at that. 4,000 damage. Oh. <laughs> Gem Knight Master Diamond. Black Garden. And copy for 4k again. Oh, 35. Oh. Okay, to be fair, you get a battle phase, so it's whatever. Yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Gem Knight must duck. <laughs> ah! Magnet Warriors! Magnet Warriors! What are we doing? An Emancipator Researcher revealing Alpha. Did you put that on your bucket list this morning? I didn't. Alright, here's Delta. Gonna go and sync up into Raptite. Villain 5 here, let's go. Uh, hits an Analyzer. Oh, <laughs> Okay, okay. Can we talk about this really quick? I just, I need to talk about this. Raptite excavates fives and special summon a rock from your deck. Analyzer is always the best hit ever in, in Adamancipator. It's always the best. But he chose instead to summon Epsilon the Magnet Warrior. Alright, well, here's our block access. We're gonna go Gallant Granite and the Block Dragon. Going up into a Apollosa. Searching for three. Okay, so Researcher's been used. How do we get these online here? Oh, wait. Researcher has been used from the hand. Okay, the field effect's been used, not the hand effect. We get to excavate five more with the Seeker. To extend us up into a beta. And we're going to go into Nap Beast. Into Verte Anaconda. Bring back a Block Dragon here. Make a Barrel on the Floor. And now we're going to Verte for Polymerization. <laughs> Imperion Magnum, the superconductive battle bot. <laughs> Must be fusion summoned with the above materials. During the player's turn, when your opponent activates a spell trap or monster effect, negate and destroy. This face-up card in its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect. Spo special summon both Valkyrion and Berserkion. Huh? <laughs> activate Lebellion. Negate. Activate... Uh, or chain Magnemut. Oh, we're letting that resolve? I, d I disagree. I disagree. Because now it can, like, force out Bar uh, Apollosa here. Yep. Oh, okay. We're going for Nap Beast. And we're going to go Quick Launch. Quick Launch for Tracer. Tracer effect. Pop this. Negate. I don't know. I, th I think... Ugh. I mean, you did really need those spells to resolve, but maybe attacking Apollosa was better. Ah, negating the Tracer was actually a bait. You should have let them lock themselves to darks. Now, they're forcing out this Baron here. Still holding our own Baron, by the way. 
Okay. Second quick launch is activated here for another tracer. Gonna go into Striker Dragon. Imperion, the Magnum Battlebot, has been activated. <laughs> and negate. Beginning and destroying Striker Dragon. Better summoning Levy in here. No effect. And call by the grave on the Druid's Worm. Oh, on the target for the Druid's Worm. And we just have Levinir and a Baron, and that's it. And next turn, we are locked and loaded with a Blocky Boy. All right. And there is a Dark the Dark Charmer. Let him cook. Druid's Worm send the Baron. Okay, that's our final negate. Wow, we still had to negate this whole time. Beesh. All right. End phase. Nothing to it. We can tag out the Baron for something funny if we want to. No, nope, we're not going to do that. going to banish some, some Earths here for Block Dragon. Baron, pop the Dark. Dark going to search for a nothing, really. Because Imperion, the Superconductive Battle Bot, will negate. And by the way, this guy's huge. 40 40? Wow. <laughs> Incredible duel. You gotta love to see Magnet Warrior at Emancipator coming in with the uh, Battle Bot tech. Amazing. All right, we've got a uh, big bestial. Banishing our Tracer. Ash Blossom on this quick launch as well is pretty nice. Do we have a way to keep extending? Kind of. Gonna put the Sephirin in the grave here. Get the boot sec to launch out the hand here. Got a bestial and an Ash Blossom has resolved, but we get to go Red MD. Red MD special to Absoruter. This gets us a link to Romulus gets chain blocked as well as the search for the field spell. This is really nice now. Really, really, really nice. This gives us a Tracer, and we also get to get Dragon Ravine, and this is where we can set up Pisty Striker Dragon with our uh, our baby dragons. Ooh, we're going to use the Romulus effect to special the Tracer out of the hand here. Uh, extra free materials, I suppose, to go into Borrow End and also link up. Ooh, I see what you're doing. You're going to go Magic Dragon first. That's really cool. Uh, then we also get to bring back Tracer afterwards anyway. We have a Beastial here that's really nice. Dumping the rest of the Beastials to the grave that we also hit. Saren, you're going to send the Spell card. Oh, this is incredible. This is through two hand traps. Absolutely unreal. Lebellion's going to add a copy of Magnemut. And Magnemut gets to special summon itself here. Get a search in the end phase. We get to use the uh, Pisty as well. Lebellion is also available for the effect of the trap. This is so good. All right. Uh, Dragon Ravine discards. Oh, we have to sacrifice. What's it called? Oh, we're sending Levinir because we hit the Sephirt earlier. So we get to get this back and rip a card of the hand. So broken. Look at that. Banish three darks. Rip another card of the hand here. The opponent's down to two. Incredible. Brings back the Sephirt instead of the Tracer. That's interesting. All right. Boral end dragon targets to bring back Tracer. Links those away up into seals. And now Tracer can pop the field spell as we lock ourselves into dark. Or Boral Load Savage Dragon. I don't think you will see better, more insane, crazy mastery of the dragon deck than this right here. I mean, just look at this. Like, actually, just look at this. Boral End, Seal, Savage, Branded Beast, Regained, Ball Drake, Card Ripped Out the Hand. All of this through a Hand Trap and a Beast Deal. All through a Hand Trap and a Beast Deal. I mean, Dargons are un- reasonable actually insane yeah there's no chance here it's the user to regain to bring back a card and uh seals bounces away floats into another dude in the uh in the deck as well and we get a search for a dragon in the end phase and this game is beyond over if you really wanted to watch a crazy uh dragon deck then this one this duel right here goes it are we going to try and keep playing? I'm going to put back the opponent's card here to draw a card. I mean, at least we don't have Max E, right? <laughs> like, I guess. Um, negate the search of the... What's it called? And we're also going to negate the boot sector search of the Striker Dragon here. Bringing back the uh, Tracer. We have a Ball Drake in the hand if we need to stop anything in the grave. And then we also have a Branded Beast. I mean, it's this just infinite comp. Infinite, infinite, infinite. Uh, here's some Labyrinth, finally. Okay, played against Runix. Gonna go Pot of Extravagante, drawing two cards. We got Lady, we got Ariana. It's looking pretty strong here. We have a Kuklok. We can get Kuklok if we want to. Special summon the Ariana. 
Adding the Ku Clock. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is not gonna end well. Activate the Ku Clock. Activate the uh, Chandelier. Discarding Punishment. I'd rather have Punishment over Imperm, I feel like, but that's fair. Ku Clock gets to add itself back to the hand here, or Special Summon it. Uh, big welcome. Chain the uh, Lady here. It's to set a Dimensional Barrier. And now we get to Special Summon Lovely from the deck here. Bouncing the Ku Clock, triggering the Lady. And the Chandraglier returns it back to the hand. Pops a card out the opponents. Let's see if we can snipe that evenly. Uh, we had a spell here, so I guess now we know we're probably calling spell with EEV. Uh, resetting the big welcome with the lady. I mean, we have a formidable, formidable end field here. Not too bad at all. Big welcome. Chain lady. Chain eradicator. Gonna call spells here, but uh, that is um, a bit premature, especially if your opponent has evenly matched right there. It's, uh, it's actually kind of scary. We go big welcome. Special summon Ariana. Bounce one of the Arianas. I mean, can, we, can, we, can, we, can we snipe this evenly out the hand here? Incoming? 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 To be fair, you have to play around like Lava Golem as well. Kind of rough. Uh, not much we can do here. Okay, Labyrinth, Ku Clock, activate in the hand here. So we can reuse this if we need to. End of battle phase. Looks like we're going to go welcome. We're going to chain dimensional barrier. And then we're going to get even lead. Gonna keep lovely on the field here because it gives us recursion, but our opponent unfortunately has no follow-up. And that right there is why Labyrinth is scary. Basically playing as a combo deck. Dupac is gonna go first in duality for summon limit and crackdown. We are gonna take crackdown. Alright. We got pot of desires. Definitely the wrong order to activate those in. You always want to draw before you duality. Just saying, just saying. Commandant is going to add Necro Valley. Fossil Dinah set three. <laughs> so that's how we're protecting the uh, Fossil Dinahs with the Crackdown. Freezing Curses. All right. Well, we're negating Fossil Dinah. Now we can actually play the game. Pip is going to add Runic Destruction. Activate the Fountain here. Runic Destruction going to pop the uh, Necro Valley. That's a solemn judgment on Runic Destruction there. Old man saying no. All right, we have a dispelling though. We're gonna special summon Hugin. Uh, we can't add. Uh, we can't recycle because of the Necro Valley. We do have starter for blue though. This is kind of crazy. We're locked into twos, however. There can be only one. Does that really matter? Kind of. We can't go into Gigantic, but we can go into Nightmare Phoenix. Has to sacrifice an elf from the hand here. Sorry, not an elf. What's it called? Uh, Slumber, the final card in hand, to be able to make the fountain live. To draw three and restack the hand here. Battle phase is unable to be used, however. We've got that going for us. We're still locked under Dinah. All right. Draw for turn here. Oroshi effect. Banishing three. Pops the Nightmare Phoenix. Battle phase attacks for 12 and 2, 4, 50. We have a 28 banish cards. If we draw Grand Maju, it's going to be uh, going to be game. Uh, one Grand Maju is banished. We can't see the rest because they're all face down from the Oroshi in the Pot of Desires. Let's see what happens here. We're going to draw, hit Fossil Dig. We're going to get Rex for higher. Normal Summon Beat. Has to skip the battle phase again. Uh, is this going to be game here? Is this, this might be game. we got Pot of Extravagance. Draw two more cards. There's, there's four cards left in the deck now. Dispelling. Rips a card at the hand here. Hits Rivalry of Warlords. Fountain gets to draw three. Trying to dig for like Flashing Fire or something here. Oroshi banishing three more. Pops the beat. Battle phase. Attacks with Oroshi. Final blow. It connects! Fossil Dina hits for game, and that is top 16. Ah! Kairoshin deck? This is a joke. What do you. You guys have some nonsense in your collections. This. Uh, dude, uh, this is why I love these rules of being able to, like, play any deck you want, because these play, like, the most nonsense decks ever. Like, you just smoke screening into Nurse Burn. We saw earlier. What is that? What is that? While there is no face-up field, the field is treated as Umi. Huh? This card's like almost as old as I am. Alright, normal summon Nimble Beaver. Effect of electric jellyfish. Negate. Okay. Special jet. Get starter. Activate starter. Special Wait, is that just full combo? 
Wait, we just... Is, is that the game? <laughs> this is a GG. Angler for... <laughs> okay, then. That was your top 16. We're gonna play against Lab, it looks like. Lady comes down here and just passes under Maxi. Magnemite in the end phase for the Chandra Glare. There's a dragon in the end phase for Druid. All right. And standby phase, we're gonna go welcome. Chain Lady. We do get to use uh, D Barrier this turn if we want to. Goes for Eradicator? If you think your opponent's on branded, I think uh, D Barrier is safer than Eradicator, right? Because now we get to go big welcome, big welcome for the Ku Clock, bounce the Ku Clock, activate Ku Clock, rip a card at the hand as well. Yeah, they could have easy clapped this, I think. Mm-mm. Who's -mm. Worm summons itself, banishing Magnema, Lady pops the Retribution. That's the best card you could have hoped for, my god. Eradicator, reveal hand, zero spell cards. Z z <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Ice Eradicator. Okay, it looks like uh, Alex has gone on to Sprite here. And there's no Maxi. So, uh, heh <laughs> That's uh, always a positive. I'm gonna go second strategy here from Lampy, so, you know. Something's gotta give, I would hope. Something's gotta give. All right, we're adding carrot with blue. Is this just pure sprite? This doesn't really look like a overly complicated uh, version of the deck, so no runic stuff necessary. We're just gonna go for probably swap frog. Which end do you eat the carrot from? Sideways. Oh, okay, Iperia. Do we have a frog? Is is our, is our hand swap water? Or do we just not play the frogs? Link it off here for Elf. Special Carrot. Uh, bring back something. Make Mascarena, I guess. And then you can have Red and Carrot for the opponent's turn in the main phase. Oh, it is Runic. Okay. Guess they didn't draw any other Runic card, right? They're adding Fountain, though. That's weird. Must have drawn something off of the uh, Iperia that kind of made it wonky. Probably just the uh, Elf, right? Sorry, not the Elf. The, uh, the tip. I think you should probably make Max, uh, Mask here. Okay! Has Lampy been max eat every game? Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. There's a, a starter chain to the max C. No other responses. That's uh, that's rough. Ooh, chain Magnemut. All in the draw phase, by the way, so we can't elf bring back this blue here. Loses some follow-up, but, I mean, we still have jet access. Surprised you didn't negate the, uh, the starter, honestly. You could go and summon, like, a red here. If you have any of jet or blue. Doesn't look like it, though. They are going to uh, go for blue to get them into their sprite engine. Chain blocks the blue with the Magnemut. That's fair. Don't want that red to uh, do anything too crazy here. Especially if we need it. I'm going to add Jet. And I'm curious what Alex really does, though. This is a really meh board. Carrot and Red are both still online, I guess. As is Elf. Oh boy, oh boy, is Maxi a card. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, there it is. It's the end of the main phase. But we're going to have to use that elf and get it forced out immediately. There is a swap frog. So you got a... Oh, smash with protect. That's pretty good. Oh, the, oh God. Ugh, this is like actually just an overwrite. Did they summon Swap Frog with no effect? What does that mean? Little bro just has like waters in the hand? 
We drew every target? Like, what's going on? Like, we just... Every, uh, the whole gang's in the hand here. Okay, right. I mean, I guess we're forced to play. Uh... Don't use the effect, like, right? I'm gonna set up Elf here, get a Beast Deal in the end phase. Searching for a Druid's Worm. Well, there's no battle phase, but there's a lot of stuff that they can just set up here. If they have access to Runic Flashing Fire, that'd be really rough as well. No Max E dropped, it looks like. Didn't draw that for turn. Right, Elf going to bring back Hyperia for a draw. This is going to put you so far ahead now. Then you can go Gigantic, etc, etc. It's like you're... You are so, so... There is a... Uh, there is a Gigantic. Elf to bring back Blue for a, 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 something on the next turn. Yeah, this one's this one's grim. If we got imperm borders, we could also get bugs crawling around to remind us to activate Maxi. E. Oh yeah, that's that's. I can I can just imagine someone being really phobic of that. Definitely not me. I mean, oh, skittering roaches in my headphones, uh, seeing creepy crawlies on my monitor. Oh yeah, no, that definitely would uh, would be a great incentive. I would love to see that. All right, buddy. Both of them activating their effects here. I mean, Lampy's got like a decent amount of uh, advantage on the follow-up, but isn't gonna be enough to like crack like the full, full field here. Oof, another runic card. Um, well, we get to draw two. Put a card at the opponent's hand. He hits Druid's Worm. Oh, bruh. Well, well, that is, that that's, yep, that's a big oof. Probably would have like chained the Druze Worm to the dispelling, right? Two more cards drawn here. We got six in hand at a full field. This is like unfair, unreasonable. Not looking uh, spicy at all. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, I, yeah, I don't want to say it's over. Still got a chance here, but this is, uh, depends on the rest of the hand here. Drawing two cards, I mean, gosh, we probably hit a max E or something as well, didn't we? We're halfway through our deck. Probably saw the second copy. Here's a Mascarena. We're going to have Gin Buster. Why is Gin Buster in defense, by the way? Now this can just be attacked by anything. I mean, I guess it can be attacked by anything anyway. Oh, it's just seven cards in hand. All right, set one, enter battle phase, skip, etc. God, I remember when I played this on Rated a while ago, I used to constantly forget to click battle phase. And it was, um, I kept my I kept myself hostage for like 40 minutes for no reason in one random ranked game. It was, it was dreadful. Oh, we have flashing fire. Okay, that's good. They actually drew it. And battle phase is skipped now. Will they need to use any runics next turn? That's the question. How do you come up with the design decision to like, oh, we're going to make these set of cards, but they make you skip your battle phase if you use them. Very peculiar. Like, should we increase the power level of these things to uh, make them strong cards, but you, you lose your battle phase? It's like a really random thought almost. Oh, well, it looks like we're going to go end of main here. Elf, bring back Carrot. Uh, do we use Mascarena? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know why the Jin is in defense, honestly. It's not like you're at risk of, like, you know, getting OTK'd or something. I, I feel, probably. Yeah, I mean, if you put this in attack mode, you'd be able to keep your Jin Buster. But but now you, you're going to lose Mask and your Jin Buster. Okay, so end of main, we're going to use Mascarena. What do we make here? Do we just make Avermax? Unicorn spin one of them? Probably not, right? Oh. We are, in fact, going to go Unicorn. Okay. Discarding a starter, spinning carrot. 
I guess you probably want Carrot gone since it will negate a Runic card. And uh, you are... Well, one Runic card away from activating Pot of Greed, I suppose. Alright, looks like we still need to enter Battle Phase to deal with Gin Buster. So we have a pretty monster-heavy hand, I suppose. Little bro definitely should have been in attack mode, though. We just lost our Gin Buster due to positional requirements. Normal summon Ronin Toden. We didn't hit Maxi at least. I mean, that's that's the saving grace here. We should get Sprite and Duel Links. I agree. Going for a Zeus line. Get to go uh, downward on top. This, by the way, this Jin in defense is like actually cat catastrophic at this point. Not only did we lose the gen, it activated the summoning condition of Zeus, so... Yeah. It's, uh, it's rough. Zeus, how? 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 Mm, we're just gonna use it now, I guess. Alright, sure. Well, on the plus side for Alex, we don't need to contend with a Zeus next turn. Since we have to burn all four materials. Pain called by. Banish Ronin here looks pretty good. That might have been really important. That potentially was very, very important. Wow, I can't believe I doubted. I cannot believe I doubted. Here's Lampy. Still in it. Here is uh, a runic fountain for Jerry. How many is this? This is two. And chain block to get a search. Alright, no damage is going to happen this game. Well, someone's got it. Oh, we drew Max E for turn. Or I guess off of the fountain here. Friend? Elf? It's elf in time. As your lawyer, I, re I re refrain from speaking on that topic. <laughs> Ooh, effect Veiler. Is that your third Veiler? Oh wait, no, that was like last game. All these duels are just fusing together in my mind. Alright, that is a... Uh, that's a big Veiler here. I, I feel like Lampy is slowly clawing this one back somehow. And that is gonna be a pass turn here. And we capitalize on this. We need to draw something really nice here. We go normal summon Swap Frog. No more Ronin, though. Elf effect. Uh, you go blue for, like, follow-up, or... Okay, looks like we're gonna go red. Maybe even Iperia to draw a card so that you can dig for more runics is, like, a potential. All well and good until, uh... Bro gets a card in the hand. That says, win the game, and... I don't know if Lampy's at that position yet, but... Ooh! Bestial. Oh no, wait. Red's a dark. Fine. Not a not a dark. What can we do with Saren here? Just start summoning big guys and go caveman, I suppose? Alright, we've also got a jet. Not bad. How many starters have you been through? Just one. Just one. Alright, there's a negate and destroy of uh, Jet there. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Secret effect! Secret effect! Secret effect! What do we attach here? Maybe another Saren here. Or Lebellion. Unnecessarily. What was your attach? Evenly matched, okay. There's something you don't want to draw, I suppose. Well, anyway. Uh, we got Slumber to protect Red here. Okay, alright. One single runic card in the grave locked and loaded here. Do we draw now? 
We are going to draw no other runics in hand here. Draw Uno. Just Uno. Um, main phase two. Can we do anything here? Not really. Oh, that Ash is just so painful. Oh, we did have a uh, runic. Oh, we must have drawn it off the top, actually. Never mind. Wow, we drew... The, the one fountain draw was a tip, by the way. Crazy. You are, uh... You are on something, my friend. Okay, so flashing fire. On Zeus to clear. And it's time to draw two. Man, it was so close. It was actually so close. What's deck count on Lampy? 15. I don't think deck count even is relevant here. I'm, I'm pretty sure Alex is, is much further ahead at this point. I mean, it was a good effort. I genuinely thought that uh, he, he had a chance to bring it back here, but it just wasn't enough. Uh, 14 in deck now, if it matters. So, I mean, really, you just gotta control the field now, and you should be okay. How many resources have we gone through, though? We've used double elf, double gigantic. I mean, it's not that much left, to be fair, and there isn't a lot of ways to recycle. I mean, like, what do you do here? Like, Onibaru? Mascarena's been used... I mean, there's a world where you play three elf, but oh wow, I'm gonna pass on Hugin here. I mean, even without any like good resources, you are probably just decking your opponent out. And we're also going to uh, drop Maxine the standby. They are gonna go battle phase. They're gonna attack over Hugin. Oh, they drew a slumber, and that's draw three. This is yeah, I. Once this resolves, it's it's over. They've banished everything off the top of their deck now as well. They play Nibiru. That is very brave of Lampy to play Nibiru. Draw three. And we're under Maxi. And Slumber protects. And Lampy's on two cards with ten remaining in deck. How many extra deck cards has he been through? We've used Zeus... I mean, we still have, like, a lot of our engine left, per se. We just can't really do anything. Oh, yikes. End of main flashing fire to clear out the sprint here. Yeah, this one is over. And freezing curses, because why not put the card in the in the graveyard, I suppose? Uh, I think we're just attempting deck out at this point, actually. <laughs> Never mind. Five cards left in deck here. If you uh, hit exactly the right number, you can just make them not draw any cards for turn, I suppose. Uh, how, how do you get five here? Like, a tip and a destruction? Is there, like, a pattern to them? Tip is one, fire is two, curse is three. Is it dispelling that's four? Is that a mannequin cat? One. Four. Three. How many slumber? Oh, slumber's also three. Fighting storm is up to the number. How much is dispelling? Dispelling's two. And droplet's four. Okay, that doesn't appear to be like a pattern per se. It would have been cool if it was like one, two, three, four. But then I guess like there's more than four runic, so it'd have to go like five. And then what do you make like dispelling? Like six? <laughs> slumber, slumber banish six? Mannequin Cat, summon the opponent's Nimble Angler. Golden Droplet, banish five! Well, that's, I mean, wait. Wait, no, wait. What's going on? Wait, is this a misplay? Flashing Fire, destroy, banish two. Now what does Droplet do? Draws and banish... Oh, it just banishes the rest? But I thought you couldn't use the card if it... Oh, okay. So you can't activate the card if it can't banish enough. But if it's already resolving, it just banishes as many as it can, right? I think... Yeah, so I think that's how that works. 
And now Alex just passes turn and GG! It's over.